and welcome back to Remote Art Club. Today's theme will be these rather cute little sloths. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of A4 watercolour paper, some watercolour paints either in a palette or in some little tubes like that. You'll need your primary colours. You're going to need a pencil, a selection of paint brushes and a really teeny tiny one if you have it. If you don't then a black colouring pencil will do fine and of course most importantly because you want to be comfortable whilst you're painting is your copper. Okay, so you go and get yourself sorted and I'll see you back here soon. Bye! Excellent. Welcome back. Hope you've got your cup of tea and you're sitting comfortably and we will begin. So, we are going to draw out our three little sloths to begin with. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is start with the position of the branches okay so there's three little snapshots three different little sloths okay so i'm going to start by looking roughly at the middle of my piece of paper and try and keep your lines quite light for this i'm going to be a little bit heavy in my lines for the benefit of the camera And it's just the suggestion of a branch really, so don't you don't have to be too precise at this point. And I might just bring it off there. In fact, no, I'm going to round that off a little bit like that. I might go like that. Okay, excellent. So that's one branch. I'm going to do the other branch. I want this one to be a bit more of an angle. This branch here, and I'll have my branch like that. Okay, so I've got my three branches. So this might be a good chance for you to pause and you can draw out your three branches and then we're going to go on to our little slots. So we've got three. We've got a mum with a baby in this one and then two slots on their own here. So I would come down about an inch from your branch and just draw in a little curved line like that under each branch. Excellent. So that's the space in which your sloth is going to be. Okay. And then let's start this way so we're not dragging our hand over any pencil. So we'll start at this end here and I'm going to get this leg in here and hook it over the branch. I'm going to give them a bit of a tummy and then we're going to go into the head shape, a little tufty bit of hair and then his arm's going to come down here. claws okay let's do his other arm 
that wants to go up behind the branch. And then it wants to fold over like that. So what I actually want to do is rub out any lines going through the hand and the foot because you want these to look like they're over the branch and not as if the branch is going through them okay and then I'm just going to do a hint of the, the other leg just there so all his feet and his hands together and again, you might just want to get those claws in on that other hand there. In fact, I will just want to change the shape of those ones there. Okay, and then we're going to put this very kind of classic little face in. Now remember, you can pause this at any point. Little nostrils into a mouth and then little round eyes there okay so that's our first sloth then we'll go to this middle one with mum and baby so we've done the back there so that's the sloth's back so again let's go into that first leg all the way up over the branch then we're going to pop in an arm we're going to just leave a gap because here is a little bub so the back leg of the bub can put mum's head in, a little tufty bit of hair on the top of the head, a few little nostrils, a little mouth, open eyes and then her other arm can just be back here and a little catch of that paw over there and then just draw in the other leg at the back there another bit over like that excellent and then we'll move over to this little guy here again let's go up to that leg that's right round so we get rid of that line of the branch because this wants to go in fact I've got one just there I'm trying to get rid of you want these arms and legs and feet and hands to be going over the branch and not the branch going through a little round bit there for his tummy that's the other leg over then we're gonna have a little arm yeah suggestion of course And 
this classic little shape. They almost look like they're wearing a mask, don't they? So that goes around there. And again, remember you can pause at any point. So the face is really simple. All you're doing for the nose is two little nostrils like that around the nose and a little mouth like that and then the eyes are in that masked bit there, okay? Add those lines out, so again going over and not through. And there we go, there are our three little slots. So you rewind that and pause it as much as you need. And then once you've drawn out your three little cute critters, join me back here and we will start adding some colour to them. Okay, see you soon. Excellent, so hopefully you have your three little cute critters all drawn out. So this is a very illustrative piece. So I'm not going for photorealism with my slots here. I'm going for kind of cute little character slots, okay. So, I'm going to start with brown. Now, if you haven't got a brown, we've been putting up some colour mixing videos. So I'm going to talk you through how to make your brown. So I'm going to use our primary colours. I'm going to use yellow. brown in your art set then that's fine just use that one but this is quite useful to know okay so I'm just going to test that to see oh yes there we go I like that colour that's the colour I'm going to use so again I'm going to start this end so that I'm not dragging my hand through paint okay and I can just start quite a large round brush and hopefully that will help give me some nice smooth paint strokes. To my next one here, the mummy and baby. I'm going to work around the little bub because they are slightly lighter in colour. Let's get mum painted in. Bye. 
and whilst that colour is still there on my palette I'm just going to paint this last little cheeky chappy in here top up that brush with a little bit more colour because I'm going a little bit too light there. So I've not gone too heavy with this brown because I will want to just build up some of these slightly darker areas. Additional pencil line there, but not to worry. So what I'm going to do is just put some water on that. Just gently rub at that area. A bit of kitchen towel or cloth. There we go. And I will uh, be able to turn that into something else. So I'm going to leave that there for now. And then this little sloth here, I'm going to take the same brown. I'm going to use much more water. And look at that, that's a much, much lighter colour that I'm adding there. And actually, I like that colour, so I'm going to keep that colour and use that for their little faces. So each little sloth is going to have this very light brown little face to start with. Lovely. Okay, now I want to go a little bit darker in some of these areas. Now I'm going to show you how to darken the brown. So if you haven't got a brown, again, you'll have to mix it with the yellow, the red, and the blue. But if you have got brown on your palette, you can use that straight away. So I'm wanting to make a slightly darker brown, okay? So if you've got black, you can add a little bit of black to your brown. you add the darker the brown you will create if you haven't got black then you can opt for using blue you just go in a tiny bit at a time can you see that gives you a much darker brown almost black the thicker your colour, obviously the stronger this colour will be. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this one I've mixed with the blue. And I'm just going to start to put that in. On any areas that might just be a little bit darker where some shadow might fall. So much darker on those legs that are on, hanging on the other side of the uh, branch. A little bit darker creases in the leg and where the arm might be resting against the body. That arm there would be a bit darker. A bit of 
bub. And then with that darker, you could just put a few little lines of colour in, just to help give a little bit of texture. It's slightly darker on the tops of the heads as well, so I'm going to start to put my second layer of paint on the top of the heads. too much because I don't want to lose that eye. But I'm just going to come a little bit into the eye on each slot. And I can do just a tiny little touch of that on this dinky little slot here. Just a little touch. Not too much. going until you feel you're happy that these little critters look a little bit furry and you've just given it a little bit of depth. I'm just going to put a bit more there where that body would be resting against the arm. That's the beauty of watercolour, if you just let it dry and then you go in with the same colour and you build up nice subtle layers. And then last bit of this stage, just a little bit, tiny little bit, on each of those noses. Excellent. Right, again I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to let you get to this stage and then come and join me and we'll go for a little bit more detail and we'll get our branches done as well. See you soon. Right, so we just want to add a little bit more colour to these guys. So a little bit darker around the top of the head, a little bit around the eyes but not losing the eyes, a little bit about around the, the mouth and then get our branches done. Okay, so, I've got my brown. So I'm going to do my brown mix again. So they've got the brown. A bit of blue and this time I'm going to add a little touch of black as well just to deepen it a little further and I'm actually going to keep this quite thick not too much water okay let's just test that see what that's yeah okay let's go I think we'll go a little touch darker so a little bit more blue a little bit more black. Just going to warm that a little by adding some brown. There we go. Excellent. That's what I want. Brilliant. So again, starting this end. Put that black in. I'm using a slightly smaller round brush and I'm just using the tip of the brush, I'll show you closer. Just little brush strokes like that that you got to kind of piece together, okay? Little, little brush strokes. Let's bring a little bit more into the eyes here, just a tiny touch, not too much. that mix of paint there. I'm just going to leave a slightly little lighter area around each eye so each eye isn't lost. I'm going to leave the baby sloth like that because they are much lighter in colour. Maybe just a tiny Hint of black around the head and the eyes, just a 
just a tiny, tiny little bit like that. And then Now, I want to give them a little bit around their mouths, just like almost, just a slightly little darker. I'm just going to dab that in a little bit, just from the nose down into their mouths, just round them into their chins, just a tiny bit. Just put a tiny bit of shadow on that bub where Mum's arm is resting there. To put a tiny bit of that grey colour onto these little claws. Okay, yeah, so I'm happy with these guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the branches now, okay? Now I want the branches to be a different brown. So I'm going to go back to the brown on my palette. And I'm going to make that into a warmer brown, so I'm actually going to add some red into that. Because I want this brown to be a different hue. So this is going to be a bit warmer. These are kind of cooler browns we've been using. But this one I want to be a bit of a warmer brown. And you'll see the difference if I test it here. Can you see? You can see that kind of red tint to it almost. A warmer brown. branches in. doesn't matter too much which side you start from with these because you're going to have to be careful anyway because the slots are done now so just watch your hands. Okay, let those dry a moment. I'm going to add a bit more brown to that mix there. Hopefully to make it a touch darker. And then you just want to add a little bit of shadow onto that branch. So where the, the hands and the feet are hooked over, just add a little bit of tone. Tone into this anyway, so just there we go under the hand there, under the feet there. Just going to add a little darker bit on the underside of this branch. Same here, that might have to be a bit darker actually. A little bit more brown on that one because that one's a little bit darker than the others. There we go. branches dry and whilst I'm letting my branches dry with my teeny tiny brush now if you haven't got a really little brush use a black pen for this stage even a black biro or even a black pencil okay something that you can pick out some detail because what we're going to do is just go in with some really dark little eyes the nostrils like that. It's really subtle. Do it 
little eyes, there's little nostrils. Now I'm actually using my black straight off the, the tablet of colour. If you've got tubed watercolours, you could even just dip your brush straight into the tube colour. More lines, I think, into their little heads. A little brush, and a little bit more fuzzy detail. And just use this little brush or pencil or pen. Least. I'm going to go to my green. If you haven't got green, mix yellow and blue. So I've got two greens on my palette, I've mixed those together. I'm just going to twist my brush in my paint like this. And I'll show you a little trick for very nice, simple leaves. So I'm just going to print the shape of my brush every so often. Little heart shapes, I think. Just a few on each branch. And then back to your tiny brush. Again, if you haven't got a tiny brush, use a little black pen. You could even use a dark green pencil for this bit. I'm just going to put a little line down the middle of each leaf. I might just put a little half outline on some of them. And there you have it. Your three, or should I say four, little cheeky sleepy slots. Give it a go and as always show us your results on social media or email them to us. Have fun and we'll see you again soon.